Hello and welcome to this presentation, Down the Rabbit Hole with O'Reilly Online Learning. Before I start, I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to pay my respects to Elders past and present and emerging. Here in Perth, where I'm based, it's the Wajuk people of the Noongar Nation. A year ago, our lives and the way we worked, learned, engaged, changed dramatically. We had to start thinking outside the box when it came to keeping up to date, changing the way we work and engage with each other. Trying to add value to our learning and keep that sense of community and collaboration within our workplace proved challenging. One of the tools that researchers here at CSIRO discovered during this time was the O'Reilly Online Learning Platform. And once they went down that rabbit hole, just like Alice, the possibilities were endless. I'm Christina Street, data librarian from CSIRO, and like Alice, I'm hoping to take you on a journey of learning, discovery, communication, and collaboration. So there are three areas that I will discuss today in this presentation. What is O'Reilly Online Learning? What is this platform that has engaged our researchers so much over the past year? I'll then give you a demo of some of the features and resources that our researchers are finding very useful. And then I'll talk about the O'Reilly app, which is a lovely complement to this platform. Just a word of caution, although a little tongue in cheek, O'Reilly Online Learning is an online space in which you can become immersed in fairly easily, hence the down the rabbit hole metaphor. Well, at least that's been my experience. You may find your time management skills being tested a little here, and not because you're not finding what you need, but more likely because you are finding more than what you expected. And that can always be a good thing. So what is O'Reilly Online Learning? This quote's taken from their platform and it sums it up nicely, I think. Whether you want to quickly solve a problem, master a new skill, or build expertise in the mission critical topics you need for career advancement, O'Reilly helps you future-proof your career. Below you can see some of the topics that are covered in O'Reilly, and this is just a teeny snapshot of what's on offer. It is a subscribed resource that offers one of the largest selections of learning content in business and technology, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Currently, there are over 52,000 distinct books, video courses, learning paths, interactive learning sessions, and practice exams available on the platform. In addition, O'Reilly are running 150 plus live online training sessions every month. And all of this content is always growing. So come back at any time, you'll see there's always something new that's been added. Here I have a representation of some of the features on O'Reilly that our researchers have found very useful. You have playlists where you can create content that is relevant to yourself, or to your team. The live tutorials are very popular, particularly in recent times. The time zone for these tutorials are more conducive to the Australian time zone. Videos are very popular. They're short snippets into relevant areas. Sandboxes give them the opportunity to practice coding. And you have interactive learning, as well as the mobile app, which I will go into a bit later. But enough talk from me. Let me give you a demo now of the platform. So here I am on the landing page of the O'Reilly Online Learning Platform. Imagine if you will, I'm a researcher. I want to start collating material for my team as we have not been able to meet face to face in recent times. I am familiar with the platform, I have signed in and got myself a profile and I'm aware of some of the content, but I'm going to see what else I can find. So I'll come over here to explore and go to topics. 
And here I can see that this is the list of topics that O'Reilly curate. This is just the hierarchy of the topics. If you click on any one of these, it delves deeper into that topic. So for example, software development, there's a set of subtopics nestled underneath. Programming languages is something that we're going to be looking into. So I think, okay, I'm liking the look of this content. I'm going to start following this topic. So now that I'm following this topic, I'm thinking, okay, how can I start collating this material so that my team can have access to it? So I'll start going through the content. And as you can see under some of these, they have these icons. Now these icons allow you to include this title. It can be a book, a chapter, a video. You can add it to a playlist. Playlist, what is a playlist? Well, if I click on this, it's asking me to add to a playlist. Now I've got some existing ones already, so I'm going to go and use this one because it'll be part of the Python learning that the team's doing. Otherwise you can create a new one altogether. So I'm gonna to go to my existing playlist. You can see there it's got a tick. It means that title has now been added. So I've now come up here to my profile and I'll go to my playlists. You can see here some of the existing playlists that I have. This is the Python learning I was mentioning that I've just added this recent title to. So if I now click on that, you can see some of the content that I have started to curate. So there are books, there are videos, I have a chapter and another video. I can keep adding to this as much as I want and once I've finished with this playlist, I can delete it. You can also see here, this is the key. I now want to share this with my team. These are tools that we're going to be using in our project. So how do I do that? If I click on the share icon, you can see it's defaulted to CSIRO. That's the organization where I am. You can have it to private. That's if you're still curating, you don't want all eyes on it yet. And you can also set it to public. So if you're collaborating with external people who have access to O'Reilly as well, you can select that option too. So now that I've selected the CSIRO playlist, I can send my team an email or copy that link and send it that way as well. But I can also think, okay, I know there's more on this platform that I can use. You can go to the Explore tab, which is aptly named, and you can go through each of these tabs and see what they have. I stumbled across this resource centre because I thought this was a fabulous tool on this platform. Here, O'Reilly has started to curate content under many subjects, which is constantly growing. And what you will see here, they've actually curated this content in levels of expertise. So for example, Azure is something that we're going to be looking at as well. If I click on Azure, I'm thinking this is something I would like my team to start getting their heads around. And as you can see, they've put it into three categories. So they've got Start Your Learning, they've created three different areas here for people to explore in the beginner section. So a video, a chapter, and another chapter of a book. All of these have the icons to add to your playlist. If you then feel, okay, the team is now getting up to speed, they're a bit more confident, you can dig a little deeper. And you can now go into the next level of expertise within this subject. Again, you can add that to the playlist as you see fit. And then, Finally, you have the become an expert. So your team's grasped the concept, you're ready to go and really put it into practice. You can then come down here to what O'Reilly has suggested is the next level of resources and you click on these icons and you can add that to your playlist. And what teams within CSIRO have started doing is they've managed to get their curated playlist out to their teams and it varies. Some teams have have a formal agreement where they are to go through those resources within the playlist, maybe on a weekly basis, and then come together at the end of the month to discuss. I know of one team that their lead is expecting them to look at these resources and spend at least an hour a day on one of the resources, and then they come together at the end of the week to discuss those resources. It's a great opportunity to collaborate, to brainstorm, to feed off each other and to go forward in a project. It is a really fantastic tool. Another way that the researchers have used this platform is in a less formal agreement. So for example, a book club. Okay, not the most riveting reading, but what they've done is they've put a title in there of interest. Okay, over the next month, just familiarise yourself with this, have a 
read. We'll come together at the end of the month and we can all discuss this particular title. And the option is open then to the team to then start including some of the resources they find interesting. It doesn't have to be a book, it can be a chapter, it can be a video. It can also be some of these platforms here. So for example, if I go into the sandboxes, this gives you an option to play around with coding. You, it's experimental, you can test your own coding, there's no judgment here. So if you think, okay, yes, we're going to be looking at Node.js sandbox, I'm going to add that to my playlist. I'll just include it in the Python learning. So that way, the team, when they come back to the playlists, they can see that that's now been added and it's something that we can look at. Of course, you can delete any of these playlists, as I mentioned, and create as many as you like. And the object is that you just give it any title that you want, share it with whom you want, and use that as a collaborative hub. It has been one of the highlights of this platform for our team and they cannot recommend it highly enough. And so the journey continues. Take your learning with you. A wonderful addition to this platform is the O'Reilly app. You can download the app on any device via the App Store or Google Play giving you unlimited access to all the content, which is always growing. If you're in the middle of a resource, if you think your device, you'll never lose your place. You can take your learning anywhere, anytime, 24 seven, both online and offline. So you could be on a commute at the beach, just having some downtime. You can still follow your playlists, add to your playlist, share your playlist, keep up to date, up to speed with all the resources on the platform. I hope this brief overview of O'Reilly has tempted you to want to explore more. You now have the key to the door, so by all means, be like Alice, just jump in and explore the possibilities. They're endless. Thank you all for taking the time to listen to my presentation today. I hope you'll be able to take something away from it. And a big thanks to the research support community for making all this possible. Thank you.